So we are looking at hunting a new area in the state of Oklahoma. It is gonna be a public land area. I've never been there before. Um, so step one is to e-scout. Today I've got pulled up Onyx Maps. That's a, that's a very good tool. And so we're gonna look right here. I've got a layer put on there so it shows all of our uh, wildlife management area, all of our public lands. Okay, so right here we can see we're still in the blue. This shows our boundaries of our wildlife management area. Uh, the white lines coming through here is our roads. So uh, automatically we know, looking at this satellite imagery, that uh, back in here may be some limited access. So if we're thinking deer hunting, turkey hunting, um, you know, you want to get away from the roads, uh, this, this is something that, that I would look at immediately. You know, it's a little more limited access, a little harder to get to. Um, we obviously have some open country. We can see that from the satellite imagery. And if you look in, you can see these lines. Those are topo lines. Of course, we can just pull up the topo is usually where I like to start. So we're scouting for deer. We've never been there. Uh, we're wanting to save as much boot leather as we can. So I want to look and right here we have a ridge and we can see that by, it gives us our elevation. And it's got this circle right here, which is showing us the top of the ridge. So we have a top of the ridge and the top of the ridge. Uh, obviously we have some ponds and we can see these divots and these topo lines right here, which is going to be a drainage coming up. From past experiences and places that I've hunted, deer like to travel the drainage. They also like to travel down the top of the ridge. So here we have two connecting, a top of a ridge and a drainage. So that's something I definitely want to go look at. So now I'm going to click over to the hybrid part, which basically puts my satellite imagery or like your Google Earth over your topo lines. So now I can look right here was my drainage coming up, but I look and I have a gas well sitting here. So I might have to look a little higher. Well, here's the top of my ridge and here's the top of the ridge. So I come right down and now I have all this opening and I have this drainage coming up. So right down the edge of these clearings, I would expect to find a good scrape line. Um, of course, that's all dependent on the time of the year. To, uh, obviously, if you go out in, in August and September, you're not gonna find scrapes down through there, but uh, uh, you may see old scrapes. Uh, if you wait till November, there should be lots of scrapes just all in the, probably all down these edges down through here. Uh, but that's, we're actually gonna go out to this area and look at it here momentarily and see if, if this holds true. If you're gonna go hunt a new area, you want to be successful, obviously, if you're going to that area, whether you're going to hunt it, whether you're going to fish it, uh, hike it, whatever, you wanna be successful in what you see and the experience. But if you don't want to spend a few dollars on this, there's lots of free, free tools out there. Uh, you can go to wildlifedepartment.com. Uh, we have a good mapping system. Shows you the, the boundaries. Uh, it does show you some satellite imagery. Google Earth, Google Earth's been used for years. That's, uh, that is probably the number one. And you can get it on your phone, you can get it on a laptop, you can get it on your desktop, whatever you got, it's handy. Uh, pull it up, it's free, check it out. Um, or just a good old paper map. Uh, you can get good topo maps. Um, you can go down to some of your local uh, ag business, businesses in, in your local town, and a lot of times they have a big map of the area. So you can go down, take you a picture of it, and. Uh, scout it that way. Uh, but these are just some more, uh, to save you some time in the field, these are some, some good points to look at and to try before making the drive to that new area. Uh, get on there, do your homework, and, and uh, just gonna make your overall time spent on the area that much better. Okay, well we made it on the ridge we had talked about, that we'd looked all on our, our maps about. Uh, we walked down a good deer trail coming up in this clearing. Uh, we knew the top of this ridge was gonna be cleared looking at our uh, satellite imagery. Um, you know, the, tr the timber's a little different. That's a disadvantage to the e-scouting is sometimes you don't get the, uh, the, the effects of how thick things are, the type of trees. Um, so that's uh, boots on the ground's always best, but we have saved a lot of steps. So uh, just got to the ridge and just come up on a good trail and there's a big old scrape right here as soon as we got to these openings. So a uh, good sign already, saved a lot of steps. 
first good scrape. Actually, looking now that we got up here, there's another smaller scrape over here. Uh, bucks do this, um, and we, we were hoping to find this coming down this, this edge. You know, bucks like to scrape coming down edges like this. Uh, and then they'll hit this licking branch right above it, and they're putting sin on this branch. A lot of times they, they will pee in this. And, uh, but this is something they can come by and scent check. Uh, does will come in here and, and, and they'll pee in these also. And uh, this is something that a buck will come downwind and check and just see what deer's in, in, the, in the country, basically. <laughs> Okay, well here we are a couple minutes into our little hike, boots on the ground like we were talking about. Uh, and, and I can get, show you real quick, um, on our Onyx map we were showing the circle of the ridge top. That is literally it right there, 50 yards. And uh, this is our opening coming down the top. And back out to our right over here to our north is that little drainage that come up. So we're actually in that saddle on top of the ridge where the drainage met. And sure enough, just like we thought, there is a good game trail that's uh, cutting through the saddle. And right here, as we got to the end of this opening, I can see four scrapes just right here. Just There's three over here, one right here. So at this point, I've got a trail running the length of the ridge. I have a trail that's coming up through the saddle, going down that drainage. And I have, we already looked at two scrapes and there's four scrapes right here. So now, as a hunter, I would be looking for the right tree to put my stand in. You know, knowing what this looks like now, um, I can go back to camp or I can go back to the truck wherever I got some cell phone service and I can look at other areas that are similar. Um, being this is public land, I don't want to put all my eggs into the one basket. Um, you know, if you got three days to hunt, you come out here, you hang your stand thinking this is going to be a great spot and you jump up in the tree and, and there's somebody sitting 100 yards from you, you know, you. Uh, you probably don't want to sit there all weekend long. So it'd be a good idea to have two or three different areas that you like. You can walk in in the mornings or in the afternoons, hang your stand and, and get a good hunt in. And, uh, and you may have it to yourself. Uh, if you do, great, spend, all, spend every chance you can in the tree because there's definitely a good deer in here. And, uh, but like I said, you, you definitely want to have more than one option. Hunting and being in the outdoors is a blast. And that's what you should take from that. Uh, don't look at, dang, I didn't harvest something as uh, unsuccessful. If you put your time and your due diligence in, you will be successful. That don't necessarily mean you're gonna come out and harvest an animal every time. But coming out and learning something new and always learning every trip to the field, that's what success is.